we're here. I wouldn't say back. I say we're here suddenly. Yeah. We've missed a lot of time. And to be fair, we had some fair reasons, but I don't feel great about it. I'll start we, needed with that. To take a vaca- we needed to take a vacation. Yeah. Took a vacation, had some life changes in the process. And here we are. We're here. Still trying to make it through. <laughs> and kiss us on the trying. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. So today, I guess there's tea to be talked about. I mean, you were very adamant on Bryce Hall and Austin McBroom. I don't I don't really know. Like I know they're fighting. I know there's like a TikToker versus YouTuber fight, but like I I I unfollowed Bryce Hall because I didn't like to see anything he posted, so I finally like unfollowed him and I'm done with him. So you have to fill me in on what this tea is. Um okay, there's a lot of tea, but the main tea I want to talk about is okay for the longest time there's been like so many like rumors and like people coming forward with shit about austin right Mm -hmm. did you know that they faked the robbery that that was all staged i I literally don't even know what you're talking about like that's how much i keep up with them that i have literally no clue what you're talking about right now so um apparently austin like has another kid and like Catherine paid her to get an abortion trigger warning um okay so then Catherine, like someone messaged her something and then um she put it on her story and she responded so it says i'm so sorry you're going through this that girl is from my hometown she honestly has mental issues i personally don't talk to her but everyone in town knows about her and they know that baby isn't austin's the father of her son has multiple kids and doesn't care for her daughter and i don't know why she continues to make videos it's sad how she's doing it for quote-unquote clout because like i said her father's daughter has other kids but in her video she's making it sound how it's your babies and it's sad honestly quite disturbing I'm no one I'm not okay I thought I was reading it wrong I thought I was tripping but I'm not I'm no one to cause problems or drama but if I if if I was to see her I'd definitely call her out on needing help kind of disappointed in her own quote friends who haven't reached out to her to stop what she's doing because it's or stop what she's doing are honestly finding her help again I'm sorry this is happening to your family it's unreal to me And then she's like, let's send them prayers. Thanks, girl. By the way, I covered your name, so you're kept private when I share. This is so weird. Literally, I genuinely feel like Austin texted her that. What a weird... That's okay. That's so weird to me that this is even happening. Because, like, YouTubers on that big of a scale... Like, I don't know why she would even, like, talk about it. Literally. Like, there's obviously something fishy happening if she's, like, talking about it. Like, normally, if shit like that were to come out, would you, like, I don't think anyone would talk about that shit. Like, that's, no. But, like, the fact that Catherine's, like, talking about it, like, that's so weird to me because she's never, they've never really spoken out about any, like, anything like that. And, okay, the whole thing that bothers me about Austin and the Bryce Hall situation is, like, how old is Bryce Hall? 22? 21? 22? And Austin's, like, 30 some 30, I think. I don't know how old he is, but I know he's, like, around 30. Um, It's really embarrassed. Like, it's I would be embarrassed if my husband, an, a full-grown adult, um, was running around beefing TikTokers. Like, literal, just-became-adult TikTokers. Yeah. So Bryce you Hall are is 21. Family, like for one, they're a family channel. And this is what they're posting. Like they have like five-year-olds watching their videos. And Austin's running around talking up the side of his neck. And he's just acting like he's acting like a fool. Like he looks stupid. Like Austin cool. McBroom turns 29 this month, and Bryce Hall turns 22 in August just for that's just so you know how old they are I didn't know that 
honestly, I watched this um, when I was having like a mental breakdown one day. I decided to watch um, like this one YouTuber. I don't remember her name, but she did like a three part series and it was on um, the Shaytards, the Ace family, and I think Eight Passengers. <laughs> it was actually so interesting. I was like, like, I was really interested in it and I'm like not interested in anything like that. So when I watched that, I was like, I need to watch all of them. Like they are, they're really good. But um, so she was saying something about how Austin is like mentally abusive or like verbally abusive, like something along those lines. And um, how they're only together because of the kids and like she knows that he's cheated on her and all this shit and she won't leave him. Mm -hmm. I was like, like that's like really sad and in another way embarrassing because well like it's not like embarrassing like if she I know if she wanted to leave she could but I know that she's only staying because they have kids that family in general is on a really thin line like you know what's really funny also when they have their robbery Trisha literally like Trish Trish like fish she she literally went and dragged him on her Instagram story I'm gonna send you when did this happen when what what rob what when did they get robbed in 2018 they got they had a robbery and okay so this is recent and they had like the police there with them you like no no matter what you cannot film with the police around like that's that shit's not allowed and then like he's showing their face on camera and they're like all laughing and shit like that's not fucking funny like jesus do you think Catherine? And Catherine is pregnant with their second kid. And they and they literally made a thumbnail for it. They made Elle, like, their oldest daughter, they made her pose for the thumbnail with her, like, hand on her head and looking down. That fam, like, there's so many things that Austin McBroom specifically has done wrong in life that I don't understand how he isn't embarrassed. It's embarrassing. Like, no one actually watches them. I have not. I've never watched them me neither I only know like the tea that I see on the internet yeah I just like see shit about them like on my free page all the time I try not to look at it because I don't like Austin McBroom as a person specifically and I don't know why Catherine is still with him I don't know why she's with him either it's sad I mean he has like actual allegations against him like did you ever hear about I don't (sighs) I can't even tell you exactly when this was, but there was a story about them, like, in Miami for something. Oh, yes! The dad! The dad! The hotel room and with the two girls. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. I remember that. Yes! Oh, my God. That Ever since I read about that, I've just, like, I've had the worst thoughts and feelings about that family and that situation that I just, like, I can't even believe it. You know what they named their third kid? what steal <laughs> that's weird you know, but, and I was like did, what, I what was, that and I was like huh what was the reason I don't know when is that TikTok versus YouTube fight supposed to happen I'm excited for Logan Paul fighting Floyd Mayweather though that's happening and I think Logan Paul is gonna get his ass beat it's at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens June 12th hmm interesting apparently austin was too scared to look at bryce in public but like on his when he was like on his own but when they were on the boat and they seen each other he had no problem talking up because people were there with him oh god well that's like what the fuck just happened i can't even hear you you're muted that was so freaky what did you do my whole computer just shut down I was like huh that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life anyways I was gonna say um Austin McBroom recently I don't know this isn't really relevant to anything but he like him and the Ireland boys were like fighting in the street or something and Austin brought like eight different like guys with him to start just like yelling at them in the street I don't know anything about the Ireland boys I don't know the beef I don't know what happened I don't know them it was two of them and they were just walking in the street filming Austin like yelling at them with like eight different people 
and it was like this whole like aggressive like angry yelling match in the middle of the street and it was like embarrassing I was like what is happening here so weird like weird uh, behavior wow that's that's embarrassing yeah last night I, room I mean... is an embarrassing human being actually okay we're gonna take a break on Austin because we have to talk about the Jeffree Star car accident I try the and memes. avoid looking at it like that the too memes. Like I, the memes the are memes so were immaculate. Good. the memes were immaculate like they were so good like I love I love them I still see them all the fucking time I send you at least five once a week yeah they're they're pretty good <laughs> does Jeffrey still post YouTube videos or like I just I haven't seen you already know that I'm on that yeah, I haven't seen him do anything recently, so, like, I know, um, I don't know, I know nothing. Not since he posted, he posted a video two weeks ago, he posts, like, every now and then. One tweet that he tweeted, I'm just like, what the fuck, bro, like, why are you tweeting? Why are you tweeting this shit? He tweeted, I just called my doctor and asked, when am I allowed to suck dick again? He said another month and I started crying. That's just too much. Like, are you kidding me? literally disgusting that's the weirdest thing to tweet ever okay so he tweeted on april 28th he says next week hashtag rolls hashtag rolls royce is sending me a brand new suv because since the one from the accident was totaled with a crying face and like the praying like the praying hand emojis it saved my life and it, I was and if I was in one of my other cars I'm not sure if I would still be here and then someone said I'm going to most likely be homeless no wait, m- homeless with my mother come August but congrats on your massively ex- expensive replacement vehicle and then they said and the, oh someone else said so glad they're helping you out because you can't afford a new one anyway so just let me know if you want my cash app <laughs> please what? Did, did did he say what kind of Rolls Royce it was? He's getting an SUV. Let's see. Whew. That's expensive. So for a base, the base price for a Rolls Royce SUV is about $400,000. And that's just a base price. That's like not with any upgrades of any sort. Like, what the fuck? That's a really expensive car. That is so expensive. What the fuck? How did the car accident happen? Do we know? Is that... So, the first thing that was tweeted about the accident was on April 16th, and it says, a few hours ago, Jeffrey and Daniel were in a severe car accident, and the car flipped three times after hitting black after hitting black ice. We will, hmm. ki- we will update you all when the doctor gives us more info, so thankful they are both alive. And then Jeffrey tweeted on, like, a couple hours later. He said, this morning was one of the scariest moments of our entire lives. I'm still so grateful to be here. I'm, ex- I'm in excruciating pain because part of my back is broken and I have a vertebra and I have vertebrae fractures on my spine. Doctor said it will take a few months, but I should make a full recovery. Bro, if that happened to me, I would be scared to drive again. Yeah, that, uh, that's not good. I know. Kind of scary, kind of, uh, not good. So Shane, um, he posted on his Instagram stories the other day. He was like talking about how he did. Okay, so he's getting like an RV or something. He's trying yeah. to become an RV person. I saw that. I was like, oh, an RV person? Really? Okay. Here's the thing. I don't understand why Ryland has made a second YouTube channel, like Ryland Vlogs or whatever. He could really literally just post that on his main YouTube channel. Because that's normally what he does. He doesn't really like do like normal like sit down videos other than his podcast. And he even literally... if he does, it is still like a vlog. Because and he still trash. shows the process of getting it together. Like it really, really, really confused me. And the fact that Shane is continuing to post on social media, like I understand it. And I get it because that's, I mean his job even though he doesn't get paid for it anymore (laughs) I mean exactly but like even as like a normal person like we all still post on social media anyways so like friends really enjoying that 2010 YouTube money right now I mean like really he really was into saving because he knew he'd need it someday 
That's why he was always so broke. That's why I'm thinking that Rylan made a second channel because maybe they make, like, I don't know. Maybe somehow, like, you make more money when you have more channels. I don't know. I'm not really sure how YouTube and YouTube money works, but. How does Rylan even still make money on there? So many people still stand them and watch his videos. And and I do watch his videos sometimes, but only, like, like I'm not like, oh, my God, Rylan's posting today. Like, if it shows up on my YouTube recommended, I'll watch it. I used to maybe. do that with Shane when I was younger. I used to say, oh, my God, Shane's posting a video today. I used to get so excited for, like, gaming. Like, his gaming day was, days were Friday. So I always get so excited. I'm like, it's the weekend. Shane's uploading. Like, this is the best day ever. Yeah, every day in, like seventh or eighth grade when he used to do daily vlogging I would come home and that's the first thing I would watch I had like a schedule I would watch Shane and then I'd watch like Tyler Oakley and like whatever but I watch Shane Dawson literally every day it's kind of crazy to see his downfall quite he sad, really did but... sell tickets to his downfall he sold his makeup and then he had his downfall oh my god I forgot he had makeup <laughs> I wonder if it's still up on Jeffrey's website it is I know it is because I look at it. <laughs> you kill me. I know. <laughs> sometimes I do check Jeffrey's website sometimes for sales because I like sales. And the last time I, I checked it was like up there. Sales. This, I love this girl buys everything. It's true. <laughs> it's it concerns I, me sometimes. I spent like $30 on stickers last night. What kind like, of stickers? Just stickers. <laughs> I'm not proud of it but I'm excited. Either am I. And I bought a ring for like $15 and I think that's it. But I was going to buy more stuff. I had to stop myself. Before it's too late. Something I also think is weird is that, okay, I was doing some weird research the other day. So on Shane's merch website, they still have up the, like the Andrew merch that they had and um I thought that was weird that is really weird but also Andrew and Garrett still follow Shane like they all still follow each other on Instagram because I was thinking that maybe they weren't friends anymore and they totally distanced themselves but they all still follow each other on Instagram so I don't know what to think really me either that's confusing I love Andrew and Garrett so much I just have to put that out there they're so funny I love them so funny I'm glad they don't have any scandals or tea because they're just Garrett's too pure to have any scandals or tea or anything like it would like like I would love to see Garrett have a scandal like I'd love to see it like I'd love to see what bad like horrible thing he would do I would I would really love to see that he's a Gemini so I wouldn't put it past him to do a bad thing but he's also (laughs) Garrett Watts and he gives mice on the street happy meals from McDonald's. So. Exactly. I love that That's video. That's exactly so what I'm talking about. That's my fa- one of my favorite videos of Garrett. I love it. He just posted uh, last night about his 90s room or whatever. And he's opening this box of something. And there's a spider <laughs> in there. And he's like trying to make friends with the spider. I'm like, I'd be running away. He's too this nice. Is ridiculous. I know. He's quite lovely. People who are too nice get hurt a lot. Also, I don't want to speculate on people's... Actually, I'm not going to say anything. Um, The only thing I will say is I love Andrew Sawicki. So So I'll say that much. We're going to take a little break to um, do our segment. Well, so I can do my segment. What is Peter doing this week? Um, well, over the past two weeks um, that we haven't filmed, um, Pete and his girlfriend have been spotted a lot. He was visiting her in, I think, London, where she, because she lives out there with her mom. And her mom is actually on this one show that my Nona watches. She's on Coronation Street. I thought that was really cool. He was um, out there with her and they were ha- having a great time. And I'm very happy for him. And now Aria's crying. I'm not crying yet, anyway. Well, we're happy for um, Peter. Um, also, Pete um, was one of um, the hosts of the Jake Paul fight. And I just want to say, Jake Paul, I hate you. I hope you, I genuinely hope you fucking drown. Like, 
I, I never want, I, if, I never want to see you in public, okay? I never want to see you in public. Pete. <laughs> Davidson at the Jake Paul fight was one of the funniest things I've seen so far this <laughs> year. <laughs> I golden. didn't watch the Jake Paul fight, but um, you know what? I won't speak about Jake Paul for very long because I actually, well, I used to be a Jake Paul stan. And like by used to, I actually mean like a year and a half ago. And yes, I'm outing myself at this exact moment. <laughs> I'm, but this qu- is, I'm quitting. This, I'm quitting. This is something that needs to be known. Quit. I think, listen, even to this day, I know he's like a really bad person and he's had his allegations and whatever if he didn't have a beard I would still be in love with him but solely but because of the fact that he has a beard I'm not into it so he is put on lock in my mind in the back of my mind somewhere lock in your mind. I have an everyday bro blanket mm-hmm. I don't know where it is at this exact moment or else I would get it but it's big and it's pink camo and it says JP in the middle and it says it's everyday bro and I love it but we don't stand Jake Paul because he's a horrible person and we hate him now but I bought that back in like 2017 so I just had to I don't know why I just went on that Jake Paul tangent it's out of my system now he's kind of sexy what I just heard I'm shocked my closing statement is that I would like to go to Paris with the Paul brothers. <laughs> you know what? Do you want to get by the Paul brothers? <laughs> I can't. Let's move on. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. But yeah, Pete, um, he's living his best life. I'm very happy for him. How much do you think he got paid to do the Jake Paul fight? I don't know because that's like a that was like a big thing he made a lot of how much like comedians really make yeah like let's see let's look at pete's net worth oh pete has he has a net worth of six million and he earns fifteen fifteen thousand dollars per episode of saturday night live fifteen thousand oh my god i didn't even know this you know keenan thompson yeah he's the highest paid cast member on snl I believe that. Yeah, and he gets um twenty five thousand per episode. Wow, that's crazy. Oh. oh, so they make like just over like a like a hundred thousand per season, like almost like a hundred and fifty thousand. That's actually really cool. Like I didn't know that. That's a lot of money. I know, right? That's wild. How? Well, you know what? We won't get into that. What? I don't watch Saturday Night Live, so I don't know these things. How often is there? Watch. How often is there like a new episode of Saturday Night Live? Because I know like some nights are reruns, right? Yeah. So um, basically they have like um, they start in September and uh, end of September around October, and then they take a break after Christmas and they come back like mid or end of January. Like I think this year they came back January thirtieth. And that, I think that was the episode that MGK was on. Interesting. I know, right? Speaking of MGK, I must go see him on tour. We must. We I'm must go. go to Spokane because that's the closest one to me. I'm on my way. <laughs> okay. Trisha could have caught a flight to come see me, and she did not. Well, she did not get on the wrong flight for me. Technically, I couldn't have done that. They would have kicked me off, but either way. I could come out there, but I can't right now. Are you guys in lockdown? Um, we have new restrictions starting today. Like I could still fly out there, but like I don't know, it just wouldn't be yeah. very smart of me. We have the highest cases in Canada. Really? We had, we had two thousand and twelve cases yesterday in one day. I love my province. I don't love mine. I don't like Doug Ford. He's a fucking buffoon. Yeah, so is Jason Kenny. His words, not mine. He wants to call us buffoons, but he wants to act like one and get the fuck out of my face. Like, no. Yeah. I hate Canada right now. All of it. I fucking hate it here. It was so funny because when I was in Vancouver, I was looking up their cases compared to ours. 
and they had 760 something cases in a day where in Alberta we had 2000 and I was like oh <laughs> that's nice that's really awesome like ugh, stupid people anyways is that are you done about Pete what else has Pete done yeah I'm done about Pete I'm waiting for him to speak about Jake Paul so I'm waiting for them to do the weekend update because I know he's gonna make some next joke about it on SNL mm -hmm. or he's just gonna be the smartest and not respond to him because Jake Paul is an idiot and no one likes him except wow. for Trisha except for Trisha but we keep it on the down low because I don't want people to know these things but I'm telling <laughs> you and everyone watching because I trust you <laughs> so I have some news well no not really I don't have news um have you been watching Jeff's videos Jeff Wittick no so he's spilling the tea on his injury and I didn't even know he was injured I didn't even know the man was injured like <laughs> okay what? so let's let's back up a couple months beep, ago beep, beep. a couple months ago well yeah whatever a couple months ago they all all of the vlog squad went to Utah to film for David's vlog he was gonna put his first vlog back was gonna be this crazy vlog um Jeff Natalie and Todd all agreed to take flight training to jump out of a plane to skydive oh my god so Jeff had to jump out of the plane 25 times and Natalie and Todd too but Jeff had to jump out of this plane 25 times to practice for the vlog to do it himself um during that time they were on this beach and Jeff got injured David was driving the ex excavator and Jeff was like hanging off of a rope on the arm of the excavator you know what I'm saying and they were swinging it around Jeff hit the arm of the excavator excavator smashed his skull tore his some sort of ligament he broke his foot like he had to get well he's had to get like multiple surgeries and like he couldn't see out of his eye he has like this like, I'm sure he has major brain damage from it. He was on crazy medication. And David's, like, paying for all of his medical bills and stuff. But Jeff is posting YouTube videos right now about his experience filming for David's vlog. Well, what was supposed to be David's comeback vlog. And it hurts my heart a little bit. David's just not having a good time, is he? Yeah. It was so funny because there were before Jeff said anything he didn't really want anyone to talk about it like no one really knew what happened only what people have said had happened because Jeff was like embarrassed and he wanted to be the one to tell the story but there were photos of like all of the vlog squad on the beach and everyone assumed that Jeff's eye had gotten hurt or whatever doing that stunt but from the photos on the beach and seeing David in the excavator was like really far away. And all of David's fans were like, oh, that can't be him because he's wearing white. David would never wear white. But I mean, and now when, you know, everyone knows it's David, it's like embarrassing. He would never wear white. What a stupid thing to say. Like, stupid. Anyways, um, so in Jeff's docuseries, it's like, He's talking about how he had to open like social media and see David's face every day and like see all of his big accomplishments while Jeff was so like rotting away. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff like, was like okay. rotting away in his bedroom, like trying to get better from his surgeries and like he couldn't really do much. And it was just like really saddening to him. So David is in the thing a lot because obviously, like, I don't know, it's very weird. Like, he's like interview it's like an interview style so David's in it and he's talking and Jeff told him that he had to skydive because Jeff's skydive alone was scheduled for after the excavator incident I think so he had to jump out of the plane after the eye thing and David jumped with him because he was like you know what I I hurt you on the excavator what do you want me to do and Jeff was like, you know what? You've got to put your life on the line for me. So I want you to jump out of the plane. So there's all this footage of David, like, in his plane suit and jumping out of the plane. In his like, plane suit. 
Yeah, it's like quite sad to see because I just love him and I just oh, I'm angry. Because <laughs> it was such a stupid thing to do. Like, I'm so angry. I'm so angry at that situation. And it would have been such a cool vlog if no one got hurt. Yeah, that really would have been cool. If he was trained properly to drive an excavator. Who would let him drive an excavator? I don't know. I don't know whose it was. I don't know who let him do that. Very confused at the situation. But it happened. And An idiot, obviously. Yeah. Like, really. Stupid. Dumb. Very much. That's my tea for the day. My tea for the day is, you know what? I don't got out like I don't, I don't talk to anyone anymore. Like I, I just cut so many people off, and it's like it's crazy. Like I could probably count my like all my friends that I have left on like one hand, and it's like whatever. But like a lot of people be switching up. Yeah, and like it's like people like it's you know. Like, people that, like, even, like, like, I hate when I bring my friends or I'm, like, at my other, like, my other friends, I hate when, like, I, like, you know, like, ex- like expand the group and, like, you know, like, make everyone friends because then it's, like, so awkward, especially for you because you were a part of that group, that one group. Mm-hmm. And, like, honestly, I only really talk to SJ, but, like, yeah, it sucks. But, I don't know. It's hard from, like, my experience. I know I'm, like, not that much older than you, so it's not that big of a difference. But coming out of high school is weird. And you kind of realize that, like, I guess even now with COVID, but, like, you only are friends with certain people because you have to see them every day. Yeah. And, like, when you're out of school, it's not like that anymore. It's, like... No. No. People don't reach out or I mean like even me like I didn't reach out to anyone because I thought it was weird because I just wasn't seeing them and it's just stayed like that and it's just been like that you know unless you keep really close contact with with people it it like it's hard yeah people just suck life I don't know like I don't know I think in life it's either you have one group of fake friends or you have a small group what I'm asked I hate when I'm asked to lie to people about certain shit too. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, you should like have to. Yeah, do that. I have a story. I have a story. So the other night, this girl I used to be friends with, um, she calls me or whatever, and she's talking about like um how she's gonna ghost this one guy that I'm friends with, and um, it was really weird because I've known this guy for like ever, and um so I obviously told him, and then she got really mad at me. And then she said that she was never going to speak to me again. And then she was literally texting me, like, right after that. Because I blocked her. And then she, like, DM'd me or whatever. And she was, like, going off about how, like, she's sorry about, like, what she did. And I'm, like, okay. I don't care. It's just, like, why are you, why do you gotta act like that? Yeah. Like, why? how do you not know how to act? And what I want to know. You can't act right? I mean, like, so yeah. It's, Yeah that's like a slippery slope too because you can't like I would have done the same thing yeah because like honestly my loyalty like after I heard that I just got so uncomfortable and I was like literally texting anyone and everyone to call me because I I didn't know how to like I didn't want to like make it seem like I was going to tell him or whatever because honestly I was gonna wait and see like what happened before anything but then I'm like hey no this is wrong I need to tell this guy I get that. I would have done the same thing. Some people are just so dramatic. Bitches be fucked. It's true. It is absolutely true. I hate when people, like, act, okay, I I don't like when people act different because certain people are around. Like, you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Like, like, never, okay, like, I'm, I'm just gonna use this as an example. Like, when we would FaceTime with, like, all of them or whatever, I wouldn't, I never treat anyone differently because other people are around. Like, I'm not, like, that's, to me, that's very two-faced, and I don't like that shit. And, like, to have it, like, happen to me, I don't even want to, like, talk about, like, what happened. But, like, to have it happen to me, I was just like, what the fuck? And then, like, I just, like, devoted, like, everything to that one person, like, when I didn't even have to. 
and then I just got treated like shit after and I was like what are you are you kidding me like are you stupid like what the fuck yeah people suck I hate the population me too honestly genuinely disgusting and I hate people people are annoying gross yeah I'm getting like closer to that age where I just want to move into like a tiny house in a tiny town and just like a tiny house in a tiny town and just like you work at a job a tiny house in a tiny town together and not speak to anyone well you're gonna have to talk to me well yeah I will talk to you you have but to. I mean like I don't want to see or know anyone that I already know mm-hmm. <laughs> ever again like living where I live now is the worst living where I live now is hell I don't want to see like I live right in the hub of like where I'm going to see people like I'm five minutes away from my local mall and that's where you know like Shoppers Drug Mart is that's where the dollar store is you know Walmart's right there it's like wherever I go in this town I'm going to almost 95% run into somebody I know from high school or like somebody that I don't ever want to see again that's why I want to move out right there with you so bad because like after I graduate I'm not gonna want to see anybody I know most definitely like okay like besides like my friends like I'm like obviously like I'm talking to them and like my family and shit but like (laughs) no one else yeah it like really sucks and like especially because like I'm like I live like where like most of like my mom's side of the family is and like I don't want to see those fucking people are you dumb I'd rather jump off a bridge rather just jump off I can never look back like I will never look back like after I leave Ontario I'm not not really gonna come back unless I'm coming back to this island like I don't want to live here you're so lucky though because it's so I don't know how to describe it like Ontario seems like really big I feel like there's a lot of everyone's kind of gonna what's the word they're all gonna move on from like your specific town whereas I live in this isn't a flex I live in like the rich part of town not saying that like I live in a nice house or a nice like neighborhood or anything like but where I live is like where the rich kids live so like this is where people move on to and this is where you know everyone is it's either here or like in Edmonton so it's like even if I go into Edmonton and do stuff like I'm going to see people there too because that's where everyone from here goes to like go go to West Edmonton Mall or something like it sucks because everything you do here is like the thing to do yeah it's like tiring like I want to be somewhere where I will not see anyone I know yeah I I get that I'm definitely like over living here at this point yeah I'm needing to start over we need to start over Krisha and I decided last night that we're going to move to Los Angeles and that we're going to get a turtle well hold on we're getting the turtle we can get the turtle we legally cannot move to los angeles well yeah i know that but like we even though i wish we could well we could go through the steps so we could move there eventually hard. down along the line i know we could move other places for like small amounts of time the longest we can stay in the states is six months i think but on like a working visa a working holiday visa we could move to a bunch of different countries for at least two years up to two years we can move to London for like two years. We could. It's expensive, but there's. I've been looking at it because I've just been looking at it, and I'm going to go to New Zealand, and work somewhere in New Zealand. Where are you going to work? Anywhere. There's a lot of ads for workplaces, or Australia. I could go and work at a zoo. Let's go. I'm I'm scared of Australia, but I'll go. Like you're scared about like. <laughs> there's spiders there yeah like, those things are fucking those things are big those things are fucking scary, scary animals my sister is a scary animal oh. <laughs> emma <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> that's me i love her she's just a little animal i can't with her she fucking kills me oh my goodness that's tea i love her so i love her though i miss her i miss them you can't see anyone for another 14 days if they decide to lift the lockdown, which I would very much appreciate if they did. How are your guys' cases? I don't even know at this point. I, I, I stopped looking. Being going to be honest, I stopped looking. I will take a peek right now. Oh my god. 
it says three days ago you guys had 3,369 new cases in all of Ontario. Love that for us. But today, 11 hours ago, it says Ontario reports less than 3,000 COVID-19 cases for the first time in a month. Wow. So that's good. I really hope that they don't extend the lockdown. I will cry. I will start crying. That's a lot of cases. I know. That's crazy. Praying for you. Thank you. Also praying for me at the same time. Praying for each other. I want to get a squish on You should. Which one should I get? I don't know. Whichever one you can find at this point. I know. I always like go to shoppers and I like for them and I never see them and I'm like, what? But I see like the beanie baby things and I'm like, oh my God, that reminds me of my childhood. Um, I got a couple of mine from Costco. I got most of mine from Costco. My one of them is from Save on Foods and I have seen a couple at shoppers but not very many they did have Hello Kitty ones at Hot Topic the other day and I think there are Hello Kitty ones at Hallmark if you guys have a Hallmark I think they closed it yeah they closed the one in my mall too but I think we only have one in Edmonton now they're freaking expensive they are expensive like what the fuck like the the one at Hot Topic I saw the other day the Hello Kitty one was $30 and it was like not even big like a big one and I got my huge baby Yoda for like $25 at Costco at Costco we love Costco in this house mm-hmm. yes we do I like that one cake that they have there the tuxedo cake that shit's I'm fucking a fire cake fan but looks that good fucking, that shit's fucking fire I don't know what it is but it's so good I like the cheesecake Oh my god, now I want cheesecake. Oh, mood, I want snacks. Now I want snacks. Now I'm hungry. Well, do you have any more tea to be talked about? Surprisingly, no. Do you? Um, I don't think so. I mean, my life has been pretty dry lately. It's like... Dry. So weird. Like, no tea. Tea-less. Like, I wish we're I all home tea. and bored. Why is there no tea? Like, why aren't people starting fights? I know, right? Gabby Hanna and Trisha Paytas were fighting the other day. Holy fuck, that was another story. That's a whole other episode. But yeah, I don't have much to say about that. We do like a Gabby and Trisha timeline. Yeah, we should. (laughs) Because that's intense. (laughs) That shit is something else. Isn't it weird that Gabby Hanna and Andrew Sawicki dated? I don't like to think about that. I heard that one time and then I just never wanted to think about it again. I don't either. Where do his standards lie? Like, I don't know. I have to figure it out. Did they break up when she started singing? No, I think they <laughs> broke up way before that. Well, imagine if it was because she started singing. Oh, God. I don't even want to I would just like to it. say that Monster is not even in the slightest a good song. And it this makes my true. eardrums it makes my eardrums hurt. I was going to buy her poetry book just because there was a, an illustration of David in it back in the day. I was like, I kind of need that. Oh, my God. I'm very glad I didn't buy it, though. Like, what's up with Gabby's blonde hair and her ketchup bottle phone case? With her in general, she's just messed. She's fucking weird. She makes my brain hurt. I agree. Like, I do not like her. Oh my god, Trisha and Ethan, Beetlejuice and Lydia, I love that. I haven't watched the episode yet. I was going to. I started watching a little bit of it. I literally just finished watching last week's episode this morning. (laughs) Because I've just been behind on vacation. Haven't watched it. But I watched it this morning. It was decent. I'm really excited after this. I'm going to watch the Beetlejuice episode. Very excited. I think we've been going about an hour. We have. This is the longest episode we've done in a while. I know. It'll probably be edited down to like nothing. Actually, probably not. I don't have to edit much out of this. So that's exciting for me. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we should um sign off. I would really love to go eat some snacks. Me too. Hopefully we will be back next week let's we'll be back keep our fingers week. crossed we'll be back next week i have nothing else to do with my life i'm home all the time okay then i'm saying it too we will be back next week we will be back next week to do a timeline of the trisha and gabby hannah beef it's gonna be interesting we'll just talk about them we'll just talk yeah just more more trisha tea talk trisha tea talk mm-hmm. trisha tea talk tea time <laughs> I fell oh off. I fell over. I fell down. Ugh, my oh wrist my hurts. My wrist, like, my wrist, look at it. it even, why does it stand on its own? It's like limping. Oh my god. Like, okay. It hurts. It hurts so bad. Why? What have you done? 
don't know. It fell down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're signing off now. Signing off. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're supposed to say sayonara. Yeah, I know, but I'm having a problem right now, okay? I can't feel my hand. I'm not stopping until you say sayonara. Sayonara, fuck off. Goodbye. <laughs>